Hi, so I did a couple of different things for my service learning project. The first was I attended the Northwest Teaching for Social Justice Conference. And at this conference, I was able to attend three different workshops. The first was about accommodation letters, and accommodation letters are letters that help special education teachers learn what their students' strengths and weaknesses are, especially ones in the classroom. And these uh, accommodation letters are supposed to help their teachers um, better accommodate their students. And so in this workshop, we were each given a disability on a piece of paper, and we had to decide which accommodations were best for this given scenario. And so some of the accommodations included uh, give, it be, or give the student more time on tests and assignments, um, sit closer to the front of the class so they can better see and hear the instruction. Um, another was give them a graphic organizer so that they can better plan out their day or uh, format their writing. Um, and there was a whole list of other ones, but um, anyway, this workshop uh, made me think about ableism which uh, we learned in class is systematic oppression of people with disabilities. Um, and there's this assumption that there's a physical, intellectual, and emotional standard for human beings. And while there is this standard, there really shouldn't be because we're all different and we all have different needs. So if a student needs to um, you know, sit closer up to the teacher, then they should be able to do that. Um, and before I move on to my next workshop, I actually want to talk a little bit about uh, the time that I spent volunteering with Unified Sports. I, uh, I helped with their cross-country team uh, a couple of times as well as participated in their Nike um, Special Olympics uh, game day. And so um, at these different events, I was able to play soccer with students with disabilities and run and do cross country also with students with disabilities and um, it was just a lot of fun and um, there's this stigma that uh, people with disabilities aren't you know as valuable or as good or um, capable of doing things that normal people are and um, but I feel like when I was actually, you know, participating with these students, there really wasn't much difference. Like we were, we were very similar in a lot of ways. Um, but it made me think of social stratification, which we learned our um, social groups are relationally positioned in a hierarchy um, of unequal value. So like I just said, people with disabilities are seen as less valuable. Um, and this leads to uh, an unequal distribution of resources. So we might see, um, you know, sidewalks that only have stairs and not ramps. And, um, but anyway, yeah, my experience with Unified Sports was really um, fun and special, and uh, it was unlike anything that I've ever done before. Um, and then going back to the social justice conference, the second workshop I attended was about these teachers in Seattle that started this thing called racial equity teams. And um, the aim of these teams um, is to boost achievement of students um, of color. And so these teachers, they interview a, a group of students to be a part of these teams. and. If you're a part of this team you get to make decisions for the school um, but they really wanted to include and promote student voice um, to make these decisions for the school because as we've learned uh, because of oppression and racism uh, we well people of color or uh, groups that are typically oppressed in our society don't necessarily get to make decisions um, pretty much the privileged um, people of our society make a lot of decisions and the oppressed people have to, um, you know, deal with the consequences of those decisions. Um, but the purpose of these teams was to let these um, people of uh, color and um, this oppressed group of people make decisions for their school, which is really amazing. And, um, you know, uh, there were probably a bunch of different perspectives and ideas that were shared that they wouldn't have been able to hear before. 
And then the last workshop that I went to was about, um, the title was Incorporating Social Justice Practices into the Experience of the Young Child. And so it was about um, a preschool classroom. And uh, as a teacher, we uh, took our students to a park, but it was in a neighborhood that was considered bad because it was mostly people of color that lived there. And so we talked about how we would handle that situation and uh, what we would do with the parents that felt uncomfortable with their child being, um, you know, going to these parks. And so we talked about, um, you know, bringing the parents with us and just really trying to show them that there's nothing to worry about and that it's their privilege that's getting in their way. Um, thanks for watching and bye!